Hi, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy, on behalf of the Columbia Tower Club with the Monday message for this week starting tomorrow, May 18th. A lot of things going on this week. Tomorrow, we have another live yoga class hosted by the Two Rivers Yoga online studio with Kelly Rush at 9 a.m says this 30-minute yoga practice is the perfect way to start your work day when you need to take a break or when you are ready to unwind from your day. No special yoga clothes, props, or mats required. Then on Thursday the 21st, harness your locust of control by Samantha Trev at noon. Our illusion of control has been stripped away from us during such unprecedented times. Join Samantha, our health and wellness chair, as she will be discussing how we can harness our locust of control based on various modifiable lifestyle factors. This discussion will be very tangible with key takeaways that you can implement today, implement today to better support your health during this pandemic. 4.30 on Thursday, Be Engaged, Be Aware, and Be Ready by Jesse Rhodes. You'll find more information on that on Facebook and Instagram. At 4.30 p.m. also on Thursday is the virtual happy hour with the CTC members. And at 5 p.m. in our Mixology Minute with MJ, this week he will be making an Empress 75, a spin on the French 75. This vibrant cocktail is not only tasty, but impressive with its unique color. Get ready to be impressed and tune in on Instagram or Facebook to see these tasty concoctions. Then on Friday, the 22nd, we have Quarantine Cooking with Chef with great new dishes at 5 p.m. Also, the Concert at the Club series, A Night of Songs and Stories with Stephanie Ann Ball, and that's at 5 p.m. Join us for a special series of live concerts performed by Stephanie Ann Ball. Larry Colatura Soprano and High Performance Specialist. She'll be inspiring us with songs, stories, and more fun surprises that will make us for make for a magical evening that you will not want to miss. Then on to the following week, some things to look forward to next week. The uh, event to virtual or not to virtual? Can we create binge worthy events with Blue Danube Productions? That's on Wednesday, May 27th at 1 p.m. It says, join CEO Nikki McKay and Robert Smith of Blue Danube Productions as they share with us the tricks and industry secrets to creating binge worthy virtual events. Sounds interesting. Experiential marketing is the future. Your consumers, clients, and guests want to touch, feel, and be a part of brand conversations. Too many people have been there, done that, tweeted about it. It's time to be different, be bold. Tune in as we learn how that's done and what virtual platforms to use and when. And then also on Wednesday, May 27th, a live virtual book club presented by the Art Committee. That's at 7 p.m. on the 27th. Please join us. In part two of our book club experience by one of Seattle's best known authors, Betty McDonald's, as she describes her life isolated from her family in a 1930s TB sanitarium. The Plague and I is not a recent New York Times bestseller, but a timely topic written by a, a working class woman and Roosevelt High School graduate. Then on June 2nd, Navigating Turbulent Times Through Personal Empowerment by Jennifer Maloka. That's on the 2nd of June at 1 p.m. Join us as we partner to hear from self-care coach and personal empowerment expert Jennifer Maloka. She'll lead us both in creative and effective ways to care for ourselves, as well as teaching easy to use and implement skills for reducing stress and anxiety which surround us during this time of uncertainty as we transition into a new normal and the exciting opportunities the future holds for each of us. So for more details and links, the links are for more details and links, they are in your weekly email. And please contact Brittany if you have any ideas that you'd like to present for as well. And then lastly, our kitchen, of course, still has the club eats to go. We have meal kits, hot beer, hot beer, hot food, beer and wine, and now a grocery and pantry to go. Like the rest of the events, you just need a two-hour window. Lastly, my gratitude tip of the day, uh, the science of gratitude is becoming more and more well-known, how it affects you physiologically. And there's a 2014 study, and speaking of a tip, it said appreciating what we have measurably improves our relationships, our life satisfaction, our health, our sleep, and it improves our physical health, leading to fewer aches and pains, lower blood pressure, and less depression. Grateful people are often more likely to take care of their health, exercise more often, and schedule regular checkups. Well, that's it for this week. It was a long one. I appreciate hanging in here to the end. I will tune in. You tune in, please, next week for the next edition of the Monday Message. I'm that gratitude guy. What am I? That gratitude guy. Remember, be grateful and never quit. Take care.